Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and on this video I'm going to talk to you guys about an interesting concept that is very crucial to understand the difference between lists and tuples in python and it is called mutation right if you are a beginner in python and if you haven't heard about this concept you better know it now because when you're going to learn about lists and tuples in detail if you're not aware of this little property you're going to get a lot of headaches with it and because Although this is made as a convenient feature in Python, for beginners who are used to other programming languages and all of that, this is a massive source of headache and errors. All right. Okay. Without me, more than me talking about it, let me actually write a small code and explain to you guys what it means. Let's just say that I have a list over here and I have some list of scientists with me. Uh, you can say chemist as well, but doesn't matter. I'm just going to paste it. I have a few scientist names like Charles Boyle, Henry Loweisel, Henry Pascal, I guess, and uh, Charles Lo something. Robert Boyle, actually. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Uh, now I have four scient uh, list of scientist names with me. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is let me create a copy of this. All right. And now if I were to print Y, let's say, well, what will happen is this. I'll be getting the entire copy of Y and it's coming out as it is. All fine. Now let's just say I need to add one more con one more scientist to this list and I want to add let's say Thompson. Yes, let's say there's a scientist called Thompson. I think it's T H Y M P S one. J J Thompson. Anyway, if I want to do like this and if I were to run this, well, this is not surprising. Thompson is also added to Y because we're appending Y. Now here's the kicker. What if I just printed out X? Okay, and, and let me print Y along Y side by side with it. Okay, now what will happen is this. What will happen is this. When I appended Y, X also got changed. Now this is weird if you're a beginner and this is something you have to keep in mind this is actually mutation in uh, action so uh, what does mutation mean is that it means that it means an ability to change data that's about it so if you have a data set like this some kind of a data like this and you have a variable associated with it and when you make a copy as a copy of it each of these copies are not actually separate data types rather each of them are just alternate names or aliases, aliases the same data right so if i were to append y it's not a, it's going to up, uh, y uh, has uh, y if i append y it's going to modify the original data if i append x it's going to modify the original data right both of them are accessing the same entry i mean the same memory location so if i want to confirm that i can use this function id that we learned in one of the previous videos and check it out the id of x and the id of y if they are different data types let's say these should be different i mean if they are modding different memories however if you look at it the memory locations of x and y are exactly the same meaning y and x are actually pointing towards the same data type which is this and there you have it this is called mutation in action right so every time you have a list a list like this and you were to create copies of it you need to make sure to uh, you need to make sure that you uh, you have to make sure that uh, you are allowing mutation or or not right on the other hand if you want to break this there's one possibility you can do what you can do is you can say uh, create a new one and then say x dot copy account copy uh, y one equals x dot copy now. If I were to print now, if I were to print this and paste it, uh, x and then y one. Let me see what uh, what do I get. Now, if I look at it, the memory locations are different. Although granted, they look very very similar, the memory locations are different right now. If I were to run this code again, the memory locations are, are they, they are very close, but the memory locations are quite different. 
and uh, that's about it that way if you were to append y1 let's say y1 dot append and i've created an uh, add another scientist rutherford or something all right and i print out x and y1 x and y1 x will remain as it is because we're not modifying it but y1 is a new copy and we're working out with it so this is one way you can prevent mutation from happening sometimes this mutation is helpful and you can let it be let it be as it is but sometimes mutation is a pain and there you should not allow it right that is where tuples come in if you have a list like this and you want to pass and pass this list to some function or want to use it in some other case and the list value should not modify and all of that use tuples over there right that way you you make a list that you can't change the data or you can't change its memory location and all of that right that way you can avoid so to uh, uh, so remedies to avoid so if i were to say remedies to avoid mutation one of them is that use tuples instead or uh, before sending a data or a list or something use a tuple and do something about it or do reassignments what do i mean by that is now if i were to uh, now what do i mean by that is if i were to uh, uh, let's say okay if i were to create another one let's say x1 equals 1 2 3 and i would say y1 equals 1 equals x1 obviously uh, obviously x1 and y1 would be the same but if i were to say x1 equals 4 5 6 and i print out uh, x1 comma y1 check what do i get check what do i get when i say x1 and print x1 and y1 now they have different entries right now now this is obvious now this is kind of quietly obvious now this way you are we broke the mutation and now both of them have now both y1 and x1 have different entries earlier what happened is x1 had a particular memory location so if i want to print it we want to print uh, let's say initial id of x1 is you can say id of x1 okay and then what do i do i just copy this paste it initial id of y1 and then i'll say copy this paste it paste this twice Init and then in, uh, final final id of x1 and then final id of y1 you know this is kind of an overkill but it's worth doing it once and let me comment out these lines i don't want them right now and also this one i don't want it and these two also i don't want it right now if i were to run this code check what do i get so the initial id of x1 is this something initial id of y1 is this so far so good that's anticipated the, but the moment i change the id of x1 i mean i set a new value for x1 look what happens the id of x1 actually changes and that thereby you have a different id memory memory location whereas the final memory location <coughs> excuse me is the final memory location of y1 remains as it is and there you go this is one way of avoiding mutation other way is actually simple if i were to say y2 equals tuple of x1 x2 or x1 or something that's another way to avoid it and there you go and now you're typecasting you're actually creating a new data type and putting it over there thereby thereby changing everything there you go this is one of the reasons why uh, mutation is helpful at the same time it can be a real pain so keep that in mind and use mutations wisely that's it that's all i have for you all in this video thank you for watching in the next video we'll talk about something a little interesting
and till then see you